Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. Raw versus pasteurized milk. Uh, another good question from you guys. Thanks for these. I'll, I'll keep answering them. Um, a very complex scientific, you know, chemical, hormonal, modified question that I would love to get someone uh, on the show who is more knowledgeable to speak about it. Um, but the answer is really simple, and I can go over it quickly just for the subject of this channel, you know, the ancestral diet and then eating seasonally and healthily. Yeah, sure, our ancestors drank raw milk, and it's healthier for our diet in the modern day, too. But raw milk is also more dangerous. It can have harmful bacteria in it, and as always... The way the world goes, or it's going lately, <laughs> the more regulations leads to more general safety for the public, but that does not necessarily lead to good general well-being for the people. Uh, in result, a lot of countries, raw milk is actually illegal, but think about that. Humans have drank raw milk straight from the cow for 10,000 years now or more, now it's illegal and it has to be treated with chemicals and preservatives before it can be brought to a grocery store near you. So let's talk quickly about the differences. Raw milk straight from the cow's tits, or at least it's as close as you can get. Um, it's much more uh, nutrient rich and full of probiotics and the good kind of bacteria. You will also notice that it is thicker and you get full from it a lot easier because it's more nutrient dense. Some people even call it a superfood and, and that it uh, aids digestion and boosts the immune system and treats asthma and zema and allergies, those kinds of things. There are some studies to kind of suggest that, not uh, proven definitely, but there are some studies that kind of show that, that it gives other health benefits. Raw milk has two very serious disadvantages though. Uh, first, it doesn't last that long. It expires very quickly, so it has to be drank um, and transported and brought into the store and purchased by you and, and drank pretty quickly. Second problem is it is a lot more dangerous and leads to a lot more foodborne illnesses. Mostly E. coli, <clears throat> but all these kinds of bacterial things um, that can be very harmful actually. On the other hand, we have pasteurized milk. Theoretically, pasteurized milk is only supposed to be boiled uh, after it's taken from the cow to kill the bacteria that can be harmful. But that also kills some of the good bacteria in the milk, and, and it kills the nutrients with it. Ideally, that's all they would do to it, just boil it. But the reality is they add all kinds of shit to it. I don't even... Depending on the milk brand, uh, some milks simply add vitamin D and they fortify the uh, pasteurized milk. That's cool. But when we get these, uh, you know, light milks or skim milks, they do basically whatever it takes to get that fat percentage in the milk lower. Sometimes they just put water in it and then add more sugar to it so it doesn't taste like piss, you know, preservatives, chemicals. I don't even want to know what's all in that stuff. Then don't even get me started on the lactose-free milk. I don't even want to know what they do to that. So I drink whole milk. That's at least the pasteurized one that has the least amount of stuff done to it. Um, but some people drink the light or the skim milk because it has a little tiny bit less fat percentage and a little bit less calories in it. And some stupid doctors may even recommend that too. Man, if you're unhealthy, guess what? A 2% difference in the fat in the milk is not going to change that. This bitch isn't fat and worthless because of the milk she drinks, right? She's unhealthy because she gets no exercise, sits in an office, and eats cookies in the break room because she hates her job. Some doctors, too, I've even seen like this. They're fat and worthless, and they drink light milk thinking it's going to help their health, but it's a really a 2% difference in the fat, and it's a huge difference in the nutrients that you get actually so yeah sorry about that that's my rant i've lived with some people and they have this shit milk and it takes up all the space in the fridge and doesn't leave any room for my whole milk <laughs> the way milk is marketed the light versus the whole milk it's even like the light milk is pushed on us like you can even look at the colors and the images on the boxes and it looks more appealing and fresh to have this light milk but the reality is whole milk is better in pretty much every single way Anyway, so that is the pasteurized milk. Um, basically inferior to raw milk in every way, except for the fact that the pasteurized milk 
it has much less health risk, um, and that is definitely true. The CDC says um, raw milk uh, illnesses spiked a lot more since people started drinking it about 20, 30 years ago between, you know, I forget the years, but I'll put it up here, and I'll also link the study down below, but the raw milk and the cheese caused the vast majority of all illnesses uh, linked to contaminated dairy products, considering far fewer people consume it. That makes unpasteurized dairy, they say, 840 times more risky than pasteurized dairy, the study says. Now, I'm definitely not a fan of, of them and this study, but, the, you know, they have proven to be wrong a lot of the times, especially in the past couple of years, but for most of the time, they are right, and this study, you know, is right. You know, in the early 20th century, for example, we can see in the history books that before pasteurization came in and before it was widespread in the U.S., one in four foodborne illnesses were caused by the milk. Today, it's less than 1%, and that data is correct. So it's definitely true. Raw milk is far more dangerous than pasteurized milk for foodborne illnesses, at least. I don't know if it's that bad. You know, some studies have led us to believe that it is very bad, but in my opinion, yeah, sure, the data shows that raw milk is substantially higher risk for foodborne illness and definitely can be deadly, especially for those with weak immune systems. So we have to be very careful if you're going to try it. Uh, pasteurized milk, like I said, is much safer. On the other hand, though, our ancestors drank raw milk for 10,000 years, and they did just fine, and maybe they died a little bit more, that's true, but depending on where you're from, some uh, some cultures have never drank milk at all in their history, and those tend to be more of the lactose intolerant people of today. Uh, so yeah, humans did die a lot more in ancient times from foodborne illnesses. Raw milk was probably a major culprit of that, and I, I just think it should be up to each individual whether they want to take that risk or not. Just like with smoking or alcohol or anything else that may be bad for your health, um, it should be up to people's decision. But ideally, I think there should be a way to drink the raw milk, but also avoid the risks as much as possible. There are actually a few dairy farmers in California uh, that I know. I'll, again, put links to this up here. They, they pump the milk straight from the cow into, like, some super cool or almost frozen, like, uh, 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 containers and stuff, and they hold it there for 24 hours while samples are sent and tested for E. coli and other harmful bacteria. That's one way to do it, so that's cool, um, and that's one way to make the raw milk a lot safer, but either way, I don't think it should be illegal like it is in some states and countries. Uh, do I drink raw milk? Yeah, I do, and I feel great. I really do notice the difference, but even I am actually aware of the risks of foodborne illness from uh, raw milk. Anyone with a weak immune system should not drink it, and I don't drink it either, for example, when I'm going through a period of hard training because the immune system gets low in those times anyway, and I've gotten sick sometimes from it too, gotten some stomach problems, nothing serious, but get the shits, and that is not the best thing when I have a competition coming up, so uh, when I'm going through uh, periods where I might have a low immune system, I do switch to the pasteurized milk, um, and if there's a time of year uh, that I'm chilling or just relaxing and I know my immune system is strong, that's when I get back on the raw milk. Um, but I'm a dumbass. Ask your doctor or nutritionist if you were thinking about it.